we are going to learn how to uh, kind of manage a few things like LOVs, PDQs, and a few other things. So there is this full screen called as application administration screen. It's called as application administration. It's right here. And it has a few things that in Siebel 6 itself, it has a number of things that uh, uh, usually an application administrator, not the sales rep or all these guys will not be managing all this. It will be managed by somebody from the development team. So they can set certain things up. One of the things is list of values. This is important. Responsibility and position. They are also very important. These two, this and this. Then PDQs, predefined queries are important. Currencies, exchange rates, everything is important. External products, all these things are important. Depending upon your implementation, they will all become important. But mainly, which is generically, generically speaking, employees, list of values, PDQs, responsibilities, positions is what you must know. I'm going to uh, responsibility and position you will learn in chapter eight and nine. That's why we're doing all that exercise. We'll do that later. Um, even organization you'll be doing as part of like chapter 11. Here I will teach, I, I will basically work on response, uh, sorry, uh, P LOVs and PDQ and PDQ. These are the two things which come under the application administration arena. I will work on those now. What is LOV administration? See, if you see in the type field, you have three these things, market support, new indication, new information. Okay. The way Siebel works is um, for every LOV type, for every LOV type, you know, there is a, there is kind of a bucket from where it is coming. You know, remember we talked about this market support, new indication, new information agreed that when you select some information, it gets, it gets stored in a particular field in this thing. But where are these three options coming from? Where are these coming from? There is another table from where these are coming. That is called as S list of val table. I think this is the exact thing, but you can go to Siebel tools and look for the exact number, name of the table. You will find the table very easily. It's not a big deal. You should. You <coughs> We, we don't need to worry about that table. I'm going to tell you from GUI itself, you how to enter one more, um, one more option here. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that one more option is added here. So which option would you like to add enter here? Test. Shall we enter test here? Okay. So right now we see three options. We'll try to enter another option called as, so I'm going to copy one of the values. I'm going to go to this screen. list of values the way I went was application administration list of values list of values display value you make a search in the display value field with the field that you with the value that you picked campaign type or LC protocol type if you see this is the one that I was looking for so it, it is not a campaign type it is a protocol type as the name suggest remember when we <coughs> When we are in this, um, it is a protocol type. It is a protocol type. So that means this second one is the main, uh, what we call it like the, this is the internal name of that uh, LOV. Come here. And you, yeah. So all three are listed here. If you copy this, then enter a new value, test, for example, and save it, it will start showing there as one of the values. Obviously, this is a very powerful feature. Um, users are not given the access to this feature, of course. Only developers have the access to this particular view. They cannot, users do not have the access to this thing, so they won't be able to do anything. Only you, only developers can do it. But yeah, this is a way developers will add any new value. Okay, so the theory behind this is, as I indicated in one of the chapters, in Siebel, this type, type, this is type is a label and this is a field, we know that. Then this drop down thing is a bucket. Incoming call. It's kind of a bucket. Okay. It's a bucket. These four are a bucket. The name of the bucket, the, the way it works is while uh, publishing the GUI, the engine brings type label as well as a field here, then goes to the bucket, 
finds out what are the four what are the various values in it and publishes it here here to be picked as one of the values to be put as a constraint so this name of this bucket finding this internal unique name of this bucket is very important this bucket name is very important but we do not know from the GUI one of the ways is we go to civil tools and we find it out there okay we'll do that way later let's first do the common sense way the way that you know most of the guys do and the way I was able to do so if you see the way the, way the, the name the, the way the name of the buckets are usually is like let's say this is a screen this is a type it will be like protocol type something like that it will be right. in this view list of values view administration view you all the buckets and all their values are listed so common sense says that all these four values will also be there that means right in the display value field so that's what I did I picked one of the values that was there picked it went to this thing made a search for the display value this display value was found in two buckets this is the actual bucket that we are looking for because the name suggests that so I chose this bucket made a search for this bucket and all of its values it's called as a type field bucket is a type field so these four values are listed there if I want to add another I simply have to name it like this I copy you copy the old one and paste it right there and then sorry copy it the right copy record option then add the new value it will start showing everywhere okay so this is one way to find the name of the bucket finding the name of the bucket is the most tricky thing actually that is the most tricky thing this one is easier common sense way but then there is another difficult way but more sure way okay let's do that now we need to find the name of the form applet this form applet is and the name is here about view clinical protocol form applet once we know that we go to the applets and look for it clinical protocol form applet that was the name right this is the one okay clinical protocol form applet we come here look at the controls in it okay the name of the control you can find from the edit layout it is type okay come here look for type this is the type if you scroll towards the right you found the applet then you see which business component it is mapped to okay once you find the applet and the business component then you go find the control the control is type as we already saw by it is mapped to a field in the business component called as protocol type so we'll go to this business component and look for this protocol type field I'm going to business component clinical protocol in that there is a field called as protocol type I'm gonna look for P's then this P clinical protocol protocol type is this one protocol type then we go there and check the various properties one of the properties is pick list the name of the properties pick list I copy this the value in there clinical protocol type pick list then I come to the object explorer go to the pick list object type make a search paste it there and then find the find that the pick list once I go to the pick list you see that the type value is here LSPTCL type code this is exactly the type that we had so this is a sure way of finding but it's a long way I think you will agree and uh, there's a little bit of problem in this if you don't have the access to the tools then how will you find it so it's better to I mean you know this know this common sense and you know fast method of working and it's it is a foolproof method it works every time the only thing is you will get one or two options and you have to think you know which one is the right one okay other than that this this is so this is the this is the next way of working second way of finding this once you find this thing they let's say you found this thing from there just copy it come here go to screens application administration list of values it's in civil 7 also same way make a search in the type field you will get all the fields and you just match it that all four values should be matching the values here these four, these four values should be matching the values here
then the way to add a new value is very simple you simply copy the record and you just enter a new value save it go there you will see it perfect all right now we're gonna work on pdq administration we already did the, did the lobby administration work okay in pdq administration what happens is when a rep creates a query and then he finds out the, and then he can save this query okay accounts starting from 3 when we then we save this query when we save this query when the rep saves this query only he will be able to see this query not other reps let's say some other reps also want to have the access to the same query that's the only administration work involved then the cbal administrator or the development team can make it public they can basically distribute to everybody so the way to do it is so let's do that let's see whether andy biggs can see it or not i'm gonna i'm gonna log in as another person his name is andy, andy biggs go to the account screen in my accounts you will see that 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 pdq does not exist here is it right right so we'll go as go back to as admin go back to as admin and this is a query that we want to make we wanted to make public right if you execute this you know if the rep executes this he will get this result anyway so we'll go now we'll we'll do the our our that uh, administration work we'll go to predefined queries look for that query the name of the query was something like account starting with something right accounts account starting from three see this is a private query we, if you click this it will become public now save it it is now public anybody can see this so let's first of all see whether as admin can still see it or not yes as admin can still see it let's go as andy biggs and see whether he can see it or not a b i g g s yes he's able to see this query too there is no account that he has which starts with three so there is no result but he's able to use the query so that means the query became public it is it is now uh, available to everybody right 